Thomas Farley, thank you so much for being here today. Now, this is a whole new world and there's a lot to learn, so let's get right to it. The first etiquette tip we need to know is... Don't sick shame. So we've got to remember that there are plenty of people out there who are fighting coronavirus. There are some people who maybe just have seasonal allergies. We're coming into pollen season. So it's really important for all of us to have empathy and not treat someone like they are a leper fresh out of the leper colony. And it's important to treat people with compassion at this time. I couldn't agree more with you. How about uh, tip number two? Yeah, so tip number two is really, we wanna love the ones we're with. So let's face it, we are all spending way more time with our loved ones than most of us are accustomed to. We're homeschooling our kids, we're working from home. So it's really important for us to respect uh, routines, to respect boundaries, to respect personal space. So what's number three? Don't panic buy. So I get the impulse to make sure you have enough for your family to withstand three months of hunkering down. But if you see just a couple of items left of staples, whether it's toilet paper, paper towels, toothpaste, these are things that really could make a vital difference for the next customer. So just because you happen to see three and maybe you've gone to the store three days in a row and there's been nothing, that's not your cue to take all three. Take as much as you need. Don't take enough for a lifetime supply. So what would you say tip number four would be? So it's really vital at this time that we support our local businesses to the extent that we can. So if you can do some ordering out, give yourself a break from cooking at home, uh, do a takeout order, do whatever you can to keep those small businesses in business. Because frankly, if we don't support them now, they may not be there for us when things return to normal. We don't know when that's going to be. So what's another simple tip everyone could use, Thomas? I think it's it's vital for all of us, as particularly as we're tuned into the news 24 seven and feeling really frightened by the numbers that we're seeing and frightened by the statistics that we're seeing rolling out across the country and across the globe, is to make someone's day. And by that, I mean just a random act of kindness. Maybe it's bringing in a newspaper for an elderly neighbor. Maybe if you're going out for a grocery run, asking that neighbor if they need anything from the store. These little random acts of kindness really can go a long way, particularly now. Absolutely, and these seem like such simple things to me and you, but it's good to re, you know, get these out there again and reestablish these and reestablish that we live in a society, we live in a community and be the best person in that community you could be. It's the only way we're gonna get through this. These, these little tips are right, they are common sense, but they're vital to carry us through. Thomas Farley, sure. thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Well